Hi. I think I am live. Today we want to paint a snowy landscape. I hope everything is fine and you can hear me. I add on my palette a titanium white. I used to take a few colors. At first titanium white. I try to use halo blue and permanent green light. And maybe, I don't know, maybe I need some burnt amber and uh, zap green. <coughs> I will paint the sky at first and for this I added titanium white and I add a bit of ultramarine, oh no, halo blue. So, let's start. <clears throat> Today I have a, a bit of rock in my throat. I hope it sounds not too bad. I missed my palette with some water. And I mixed the white with the halo blue. I paint in at first a base layer. I will go over it in a second turn. I hope you can see my palette better today. I rearranged it a bit. <coughs> I need a bit burnt amber. I will tone the... It's too sunny for a snowstorm. I add a bit of burnt amber. Another mist spray of water. I try to paint a greyish sky. with some clouds, but not too light because uh, we want to see the snow to the horizon, it goes lighter. I 
I switched my brush to a more bigger one. I wet it and uh, wipe off the extra water and then I, I start to dab to blend in the paints. I have to clean my brush in between. I add more white to the horizon. I think this guy is nice and the middle ground will be kind of hills. I add more brown into my mix. The Halo blue is really strong. Maybe it's it's the wrong decision, but I started with it and here I go with it. I use an embossing tool to hold my rock down. It's a kind of Bob Ross scene, I think. <clears throat> I paint the first layer, the base layer, and I will go over it in a second brush and start defining the details. It's a bit too dark. I added for some white. Hi, George. And no problem. No problem. I just finished the the sky. It was really quick. A mix of blue, brown and white. And now I added the base layer of the mountains. I will let the 
sun or the light coming from this side and this means that uh, this uh, areas of the sky no not the sky of the mountains will be lighter i use my my mix and i add some white and i start here Maybe the brush is too rough. I choose the da, da Vinci with the shorter hair. <coughs> I did not have, really have a plan where I paint the highlights, I just paint it. I let the flow turn over my... I, I let do the uh, brush doing the work. I do not really think of it. A bit more white. Maybe here is more snow. I have to miss my palette. How are you, George? And I'm mixing a bit of a darker tone. Oops, <laughs> I tried to clean my wash and dip uh, on my my varnishing bottle. See it there? I dipped on it. I think there was water. I varnished my Rocksmith uh, Liquitex Glossy Varnish. I can show you the last rock. And you see it's really shiny now and the colors really pop. I'm fine, thanks. I had a hard day. My car was has to be uh, repaired. Some braking lights are uh, are off, and uh, I have to change the wheels for winter because here. It's getting colder and I can't drive with the summer wheels. I try to keep it a bit in an angle because the glare is really hard. Yes, it's a more simple, more a beginner 
painting this time. I think. If someone has a question, feel free to ask. Or if you can't write in the chat, then you can ask my Facebook page or on Instagram or Twitter. I pick up some darker tone and I darken it up here a bit. I think we can add here and there some trees, more uh, middle ground trees, not foreground trees. And maybe we, we can here paint some icy area. Maybe here the the people do skiing or something. Oh, maybe we can add some kind of lift, ski lift, but at the end. So I want to use this permanent uh, green for the trees. Oh, it's it's dried. That you, I have to use my shirt to open it and I pick some green with my painting knife we have to to wet the palette George, is it cold there where you live? Or do you live in Australia where it's summer right now? I mixed in some um, white, but the green is really strong. I add a bit of burnt amber to tone it down and I add a bit of blue to make it more bluish. And now we have the perfect tone. And the trees in the distance, I I think it's a bit too too light. I add more blue. And a bit more green. The trees in the distance I only paint with some random vertical strokes. Yeah, the more layers you apply, the more powerful the painting will be. But at some point you can apply to too much and then it's too much on the painting. I clean my uh, brush roughly in between to get the sharp point. And maybe here it goes a bit white, uh, lighter. And we do the same on the other side. Oh, very cold here. 
the night starts to be freezing and we have to uh, take our pump our water pump from the garden and take them in house so a couple of years ago we forgot it and uh, we did destroyed the water pump with with our laziness In some higher areas it is snowing, but here where I live there is no snow. So I thought I'd paint some snow today. I am not really in the Christmas mood. I know that yesterday was the first advent, but we have a really less decorations maybe because all of the news from the new covid type so maybe there is some kind of path where you can get to the skiing area I will lighten up the skiing area a bit. Some white spots here and there. And in the foreground I will add some trees. And I mixed in more the warmer the yellowish green tone I add a bit of burnt amber because it's really strong and today I paint them really rough I add a bit more burnt amber I will darken it a bit more because I think we will go over it with some snow later it's kind of scary what is scary? did I miss something? Ah, I forgot, uh, you mean because of the new Corona type from South Africa? <clears throat> Here's a little spot that I have to, that I have forgotten to paint. I use more burnt amber yeah I, I forgot it yeah now I'm I'm on the point again I have to paint in some background here, some to add, just add some color here.
is it okay to to stream on a Monday or is it to is it the wrong uh, day? I add a, a bit of phalo blue to to darken it a bit because when we want to paint some snow we have to darken it at first to have a high value, a high contrast. No, you're off on Monday. Wow, you came online for me, especially for me. This is cool. I will paint some trees in in the middle foreground, close to the middle ground. I use my script liner for this. This is a size one, but it doesn't uh, means a lot with the script liner. If you choose a one or a zero, it's it's kind of same the same size. Maybe something here. Just a triangular shape. Ooh, your schedule changes. I'm pre I'm really uh, deep in dance. Uh, I don't know the word. I forgot the word. Uh, I have to go with the schedule from my son from the school schedule and I have short days on Tuesday because there you, he has short days in school and he comes home earlier and I have to cook for him and make him ready to go into the church on Tuesday I think we have to add uh, some kind of uh, shadows here. It's I I, yeah, I think it looks really flat. I will add a bit of. Oh, this is dirty white. I can see it. I add some. This I hope it's it's too light. I have to darken it.
just a few strokes to make it more interesting. And I have to Google how to how these ski lifts are looking. in the distance okay some kind of T shapes I will use my brown my burnt amber and I will add some blue to get a darker tone a grayish tone and I add some white because it's in the distance, it is not really black. I cleaned my brush and I wipe a couple of times through this mix and I start to paint it. I have to wet my palette. It looks okay. I think it looks a really bit strange. It looks like little humans. I think I will remove it. I will go over it with white. nice idea idea but it doesn't work i think <clears throat> we have to paint the white the the snow on the trees at first i will use pure white Just random dipping with the direction of the branches. The branches are hanging down a bit because they're, they're pointing to the bottom because the snow is really heavy and uh, bent them down. And the last three in the foreground. I think it's perfect. I paint a bit in the middle ground. Barely you can see it because it's too far away. You can't paint in heavy white strokes and on the trees in the distance you can't paint 
No, because it's too far away. I will add here some brownish, light brownish uh, tone, a kind of path and earth. <coughs> I have to spray the palette a bit. Just a few spots. And I think the snow in the foreground is uh, finished and we want to add some snow which is falling. I hope, it, yeah, we have painted it dark enough to paint snowflakes. Just pure titanium white. Do not paint the dots too even because then it looks not naturally. Don't oh yeah you're right I forgot this this, this three <laughs> I forgot it thank you he just disappeared I'm kind of blind with my own rock my first rock was which tree And I did. I didn't see the tree here on the rock. I did it see in the preview from the video on my monitor. So now, maybe this is a heated tree, and the snow is melting. No, I I I just didn't see it. Thank you. I add a few flakes I make a few of them a bit bigger and we have cold winter scene. I think the rock is done. I'm very happy that 
someone is watching thank you for watching and i wish you a good night and a nice week and my maybe i will come back uh, the week because i have here another primed rock and i have to look for a motive for uh, for an idea what to paint thank you for watching and I say good night and see you next time. Ciao!